Ladies, I am here tonight on the show. I am here tonight on the show. I am here tonight on the show. And tonight on the show, I am going to talk about the national championship game. What a game tonight between um, between um, Villanova and Michigan. What a game. I cannot believe this game. What a game it was tonight. And I thought, you know, I went into this game and I'm like, you know what? I said it last night and I said it a few nights ago. I thought that Michigan, that Villanova was going to win this game and they could win this game by a long shot, by, by a long margin, by a lot of points. I said that, didn't I? I thought, I thought that, you know, what I saw Saturday night, what I saw what Michigan, what Villanova did to Kansas, and then what the fuck is happening to the show right now? And then what I saw what, um, what Villanova did to the, the laptop giving me some problems. Unfortunately, I was having a lot of problems tonight with the show, but I'm here on the air. Anyways, um, what, what I thought... What I thought, what I saw, what can the way can sound like a motherfucker, sound like a, no, sound like a motherfucker. The way I saw what um, what um, Villanova did to Kansas, and then what I saw, you know, like I said, I was wondering what Michigan Loyola was. Did Michigan play about thirty five minutes, about seventy five percent, and then did they go turn it on deep in the side and play one hundred percent those last five minutes? And um, at the start of this game, I was saying, you know, like I, I went into this game saying, yeah, I think Villanova's a much better team. I, I said it, you know, about a few weeks ago. I said throughout the whole tournament, I thought Villanova played the, be played the best um, out of everybody. Um, so then I went to this game thinking, I hope this is a close game as a fan, but as a professional, I think Villanova will whip uh, Michigan's ass. That's what I said as a professional. Um... And that's exactly what happened. The game started, and for a while there, Michigan actually had a, They started off playing very good defense. And I'm like, okay, so this team is actually legit. The, the defense we saw those last five minutes of that Loyola game is actually legit. Because at one point, I believe it was, what, 21 to 14 or whatever it was. And um, Michigan was up by seven points. Um, so I'm like, okay, maybe this defense is legit. But then I thought Villanova, what was the biggest thing difference was when that kid, um, um, Deontay Vanchimvingo, whatever the hell his name is, number 10 from Villanova, came off that second unit. And he, he was flat out killing it, shooting threes left and right, left and right. And then I thought I got everybody else going. I think they went on like a 9 or 10 um, zero run, like literally went from 21 to 14 to 23 to 21. You know, they, they went on a like, little nice 10-point run over there without Michigan scoring any points. And from, from there, slowly, I thought they really got to start getting, getting um, those three points down. And Michigan, they just can't shoot nowhere as good as Villanova. And I thought that was going to be the difference going into this game. Villanova's ability to shoot the three compared to what Michigan. Michigan has got to get in. They need whack. They need to, um, they need whack. They, excuse me. They they need um they need Wagner to get in for them in the paint you know and that was the, the, the they were not as successful tonight with Wagner as they were in Saturday night versus Loyola um so I'm not surprised you know I thought once Michigan excuse me once Villanova got going with the three points especially with that kid D Dante Vengino whatever his name is number ten I thought they just never looked back and I'm not surprised um. I'm not really surprised, like I said, I was hoping for a close game as a fan, but as a professional, me coming in here and talking about the game, previewing the game, I thought that I'm not surprised that Villanova was going to win by this much. So I think they are a much better three pointer, and I thought if they would start getting going from that three point line, Michigan had no chance. And yes, I thought that was the difference tonight. You saw it. The ones Villanova, especially in the second half, got going with that three pointer, Michigan had no shot. They just can't shoot nowhere as good as. Um, as good as Villanova can, and I thought it was a difference. Um, shout out, shout out to both of these teams. You know, at the end of the day, although in my 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 tournament preview, I had them both going to the Final Four and losing. I believe I had Villanova losing to um, Michigan State, and I believe I had um, Michigan losing to Virginia or something like that. Um, but I still had them going far, so I'm not too surprised both of these two teams. Um, finish the season in the national championship game because I did have them in my final four. I had them losing though. I had, like I said, I had Michigan losing to Virginia and then I had Villanova losing to Michigan State. But I actually had both of them in the final four. So I'm not too surprised they made it to the championship game. Um, but shout out to Villanova. Shout out to Coach Jay Wright. Two championships in three years. Shout out to him. Um, amazing because a lot of times you see some of these coaches with these smaller schools, once they get that championship, they leave. Um, or even come close to a championship they lead, like Brad Stevenson. 
So it's nice to see him actually finishing the job and not only winning one, but now two championships in the last three years with Villanova. I hope Coach Jay Wright stays with Villanova and, 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 and continues to build that as, a, as an amazing program, kind of like a Duke with Mike Krzyzewski has done for, the, for years now. I really hope he stays there. I really hope Coach Jay Wright stays there. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to everybody, you know. Um, Wagner, you know, he did his thing, you know, might be his last game with Michigan. And, you know, um, shout out to that kid, Devante Frangino from number 10 coming off the bench. He was a difference maker um, for Villanova. I don't know what happens if that kid does not come off the bench and starts winning those three and starts scoring scores 31 points. I don't know what the, I don't know what would have happened. You take those 31 points or you turn those 31 points out maybe to 15 or 10. What was the final score? I believe it was 79-62. So what is that? That's, what, that's like 17 points, I believe. So who knows? That's 31 points. They won by 17. Who knows? Maybe they didn't win without this kid. Maybe this kid was a song song hero. We don't know. We don't know. But anyways, the game's over. Um, shout out to Michigan. Sorry, shout out to Villanova. Two championships in three years. Coach Jay, right? You are amazing. You are the man. Uh, Michigan, shout out to you. Nice, nice, nice season. Nice year. Came up short. Wagner, shout out to you. You're an amazing player. Um, shout out to everybody. Um, but amazing. So it's over now. Villanova is your 2018 NCAA basketball champions for the second year in three years. Unbelievable. All right. Um, let's let, let's uh, let, let's finish the show. Um, all right. So so um, Chicken Wings is asked. Chicken Wings have not been on the show for about a, a few weeks now. He was telling me I don't know what happened to Chicken Wings, uh, uh, but he just told me he's like, hey, I, I haven't been on your show for about three weeks. And, you know, I started watching again last night. I'm like, why won't you leave the show, Chicken Wings? What the hell's wrong with you? Um, but he, he's like, yeah, man, I've been gone for three weeks. I'm back now. And I'm like, okay, whatever. And he's asking for another NFL draft preview because of all the changes, you know. I believe the Jets, you know, last time we didn't win the seventh. And now they've gone to, to number three. And then after was in three, they've gone to seven. Um, and I believe Cincinnati and Buffalo also traded spots. Um, Cincinnati was in nine, and, and now they're in twenty-one. And Buffalo was in, in twenty-one. Now they're in nine. You know, we need to. So maybe a, a new NFL draft preview will be coming up very soon here on the show. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that. Also, I think I'm gonna get into a little bit more of. Um, I'm thinking right now. Um, I think, you know, NBA is almost over. Now with the March Madness is over, NBA is almost over. There's like about two weeks left. I think I'm gonna get into a little bit of like more like topics, like like takes, you know, like takes. Um, then I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna cover too many games right now. I think I'm gonna wait until the um, the NBA the NBA playoffs start, and then once the NBA playoffs start, then I'll start covering more games again. But I think right now I want to focus a little bit more on just takes, you know, takes like Leonard. Is he going to play? Is he really hurt? If he just does not want to be in the franchise, in the San Antonio franchise anymore. You know, Josh Rosen, if he 100% committed to playing football. Floyd Mayweather going into um, UFC. You know, stuff like that. I think I'm going to focus that a little bit more on takes. So this is your chance, you know. Um, watermelon, you know, you're always crying about me not covering boxing. These two weeks are your chance. If you want to cover me any particular news, like, like I said, like Anthony Joshua. Um, he won actually on Saturday night, you know, um, now they're talking about him and, uh, and Wilder fighting, you know, I'll cover stuff like that, maybe whether going to UFC, stuff like that, the NFL draft preview, so I'm going to take these next few weeks and do more of like takes, you know, more like topics, like not so much necessarily covering games, because so I think right now, I think a lot of games are, like I said last night, I did that San Antonio Houston game, man, I don't think it really mattered that much for Houston, it only got like about, oh shit, it only got about seven views, so I don't know, I don't know. We'll see what happens, so we'll see what happens, so. Then I'm going to focus a little bit more these next few weeks on more like takes like that than covering games. But anyways, um, but we'll see what happens. I might watch a, a good basketball game here and then, NBA basketball game, and I might say, hey, this might be worth it, you know, and I'll cover it. But if not, I might focus a little bit more on just takes, like I said, I'm Mayweather going to UFC, uh, NFL draft preview, Mayweather, uh, um, Joshua Anthony fighting Wilder, you know, stuff like that. It might be a little bit harder though to find those articles to read. I might have to do a little bit more reading, which I'm not a big fan of. But hey, just thought, you know, for the next two weeks maybe, um, until the NBA playoffs start, and then I'll go back to covering NBA playoffs. But until next time, I am the man that runs the play. I am tired of eating chocolate. I don't know about you guys, but I do not want to eat another chocolate for like about two weeks. I ate so many chocolate. Ugh. 
Um, I am tired of eating chocolate. Let me know how many chocolates you ate. I, I think I have chocolate diarrhea. Anyways, um, oh, college and you say, what, what is that thing Marty said? I have to go look it up again. Oh, Louisiana diarrhea, and he said that was college. Anyway, who cares? Um, anyway, shout out to everybody, Chicken Wings. Yes, I will have that NFL draft preview up for you soon. Give me a few days. I have to take all this shit off and once again put it up. You know, so it's going to take a few days, Marty. Please, I mean, chicken, le chicken wings, please be patient. I know sometimes you like to pressure me. See, where's the show? Where's the show? You did that a lot with the state of the sports. So chicken wings, please take it easy on me. It might take me a few days. But until next time, I am the man that runs the place. I am CE, and I have chocolate diarrhea. And until next time, I will see you later. Let me know what you think of the national championship game. But like I told you, I thought it was going to be an ass whooping by Lil Villanova, and it was. Once again, I continue to deliver amazing shows here. I am the man. I am the man that runs the place. Thank you. I will see you.